the lady that chewed me out yesterday when I walked in this morning I had to stop and I had to get a toilet seat because the employees broke the toilet seat in the bathroom and our customers have to use the bathroom that the mechanics use we're in the process of like getting a waiting room built and like getting an actual bathroom and stuff installed for the customers uh, anyway as we're getting as I'm getting to work today I made my way inside the office and the phone's ringing I pick up the phone good morning Brighton services this is rich and it's the lady that was chewing me out yesterday in yesterday's video just ripping me a new one she said look man I'm sorry about me tearing into you last night I I didn't feel right just having my aunt call you to apologize I wanted to call you and apologize and then she started raising her voice and then she started screaming all over again. It just started all over again immediately. And I was like, look, I'm gonna be frank with you. I can't communicate with you with your, when you're screaming. And I wanna be real with you and I wanna treat you like a human being and I wanna talk to you nicely and stuff like this. But when you start screaming and yelling and stuff at me like this, I wanna do the same thing to you except I'm gonna do it worse than you. And that's not the answer to anything. I wanna talk to you like a human being. I want to communicate with you in a fashion where we can actually get something done, where we can um, just resolve whatever issue this is that you're having. And I would like to fix your vehicle, if I, but I can't make promises because there's so much, there's so many deposits in the cooling system of this vehicle. I'm gonna have to flush this thing and flush this thing and flush this thing and the calcium or the big nuggets, the deposits I'm finding inside the cooling system are so large and so hard that when we drop them in vinegar, they're not dissolving. When we drop them in CLR, they're not dissolving. I'm going to have to do everything that I can to get as much as I can out of this system. And it's probably going to slowly break away and dislodge from other areas as well. So just being straight with you, I cannot guarantee that this is not going to come back a, a day from now, a month from now and bite you. Is this something you want me to continue moving forward by unclogging the cooling system, putting a new heater core and everything in this? And, um, uh, you know, and then I walked her through the process of exactly how we found it, where we're at, and she was like, I understand, um, and I'm sorry. She said, I really do apologize. I'm just, I'm a single mom, I'm a black lady that, that that's in a, it's, the world is kind of pitted against me, and she said, uh, I'm trying to take care of my kids and do right by them, I'm trying to work, I'm just a, a new, um, LPN out of school something like she said something like LPN or RN or whatever out of school and I just started working my first job and I haven't even collected my first paycheck yet so things are very very stressful for me we're going into the holidays I haven't collected my first paycheck yet I had to take my savings and then help my family had to help me come up with a repair for all the work that you're doing right now so I'm a little emotional and I'm a little just I'm just not right and, and I apologize I did not mean to unload on you like that and I'm sorry for doing it again this morning and, and I appreciate you just talking to me and explaining things to me and being patient with me because anybody else would have hung up and just walked away from me and not talked to me so she said I'm sorry just do your thing take your time and I apologize again um, let me know how it turns out it's like wow That's pretty, that was pretty powerful the fact that I, I I'm, I'm proud of myself for being that patient through this whole entire situation but she probably chewed me out for close to 20 minutes last night for no reason swore at me and everything else and not really swore at me but just you know other curse words that were not so not not extremely bad she but she was she was there and uh just was just out of control and uh and i pushed through it and i took it and i took it and i took it and i took it we got off the phone and then her aunt called afterwards and she said she said she told me what she just did and I want to apologize for her but I also want to understand more about what's going on and then uh, today her calling back and apologizing and, and talking to me and then starting to scream again and then I had to let her know I will not continue talking to you if this I was just straight with her and just told her like I'm not going to continue talking to you and screaming and repeating myself over and over and over again I just want this conversation to between me and you to flow platonically just uh, nicely, respectfully, and if it can't go that way, then 
and let's move on and let's not do business with each other. I'll put your car together. I'll have it ready for you outside when you get here. And then she started talking normal, calmly, respectfully, and then she realized that I was actually trying to do right by her. I'm not trying to take advantage of her. So needless to say, I think, I think things ended well. Um, the situations that we run into is uh, business owners, managers, you know, customer service people. Most people would have just got mad at the lady and screamed at her back and kicked her out and said, come get your car, come get this. Guy. You know, by all means, they would be right for doing that. But at the same time, the day and age that we live in, the times that people are going through right now, how crazy the world is. I find that doesn't really solve a lot of problems. Look, they graffiti my building a couple days ago, and then all down the side of the building, around the building as well, in like four different spots. I gotta get that painted today. But that's the end of the story. Y'all be blessed. Remember, sometimes you gotta be patient with people. Even though it would be right to hang up and tell her, come get your stuff, I don't ever want to see you. And that may end up happening. We may end up having this conversation whenever everything's said and done. And just say, look, I don't want to do business like this again. You know, either next time we do business, it's calm and collective like we ended up on the phone. We ended on the phone or else we just don't do business with each other anymore. This is the right way to do it. But I'm going to take care of her. Remember, everybody's choice and how they deal with situations is different. Doesn't mean you're right. Doesn't mean you're wrong. There's always somebody else's perspective and there's training to get through those rough situations when you don't know what to do and you feel like you're falling apart and you're going to blow up so be very careful be blessed i love y'all